people, Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a quick voiceover for day three or story three of my December Daily 2023. Um, today I'm going to be working with the back of this, which I'm, I don't think I'm going to do much to it. I might add a die cut or something on the outside. I'm not sure. Probably not much because it's already done and it doesn't have anything to do with this story, which I'm going to be doing for today's mix it up Monday over on my blog. Um, we're mixing together this year's Christmas collection, which is festive. And I have this, um, foundation page. That's the word I was looking for. This foundation page that I want to work with, um, for these photos of my husband and I Christmas shopping. So I have this foundation page and I also have a foundation page. Sorry, I've already started taking it together just to, or taking it apart just to measure it a little bit. I also have this foundation page from last year using the All Is Bright collection. And I think I'm going to be mashing these two together because the All Is Bright collection has a lot of really um, fun reds and pinks and greens that will match the All Is Calm collection really well. Um, there's some additional colors like this blue in the all is or all is bright okay i'm gonna get confused because we're mixing together all is calm all is bright with festive and all is calm and all is bright are two different collections but uh they the pinks and the greens in all is bright which is what i'm going to be using match the pinks and the greens in festive they have there is this blue that i'm trying to gonna try to avoid using and there's also yellow in the all is calm or all is bright collection um, but there's these cute lights, like the ones on here, and I think I'm going to mix and match these together. Look at these cute, um, cut file tags that I had last year. So I'm going to mix and match these two together and make something fun. So I'm going to start by using this heart because it's appropriate, and I'm going to cut this photo out to the back of this heart, um, and it'll fit our heads perfectly up here at the top. You can see none of our heads are peeking out and it's going to be real tight at the top of my head, but that's okay. Uh, and then I'm going to incorporate this page as the page that's going to tell the story, I think, or at least have more photos. I have lots and lots of photos to incorporate. Oh, and then I also had this, which actually is where I think I'm going to hide the journaling. This was supposed to go on rings last year and I think I used one of them. I made two, but I think I'm going to cut the bottom off of this and I'm actually going to make it a pocket still, but I'm going to stick it behind this front photo. That's kind of where I'm headed for this page and I wanted to explain it before I started anything so that um, I could get my thoughts out there and now we'll go over to the sped up process and the voiceover. I swear someday I'm going to make an uncomplicated page but today is not that day so we're gonna go with this beautiful heart. I love this heart so much from my foundation pages that I made this year and I knew I just knew that it would be so great for a big picture on the back so I'm glad that I took a bunch when my husband and I were out Christmas shopping um, so I just, oh, I love, I love the way it framed. I knew it would work. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so now I got to decorate the front and I actually got to figure out where these photos are going to. So I printed, this one is three and a half inches, I believe. And the other ones are two and a half inches. So I already knew which one I wanted to go on the front, obviously. Um, but I wasn't quite sure where I wanted the other ones to go. I didn't even know if I was going to keep those squares or not. I did print them out the right size of the squares, but I didn't know if I wanted to keep the black or not. And in the end, I did decide to keep the black squares because I'm wearing black and our photos are dark enough to make it so that the black squares do incorporate pretty well into the layout, even though the festive collection doesn't have any black. But I think it worked out pretty well. So I'm going to trim down this um, pocket and I'm going to re-adhere the bottom of it so that it is still a pocket. And I'm just going to put that behind my photo and that will hide my journaling. I'm not going to keep this pink tag because I want a tag that I can actually journal on, but I did trim it down just in case I decided to keep it as part of the layers. And then I already had this cluster from my foundation page that I could 
um, put on the front of this photo. So we're just going to put everything back together. I love how that pink paper from the All Is Bright collection meshes so well with the pink and the red from the Festive collection. I don't have any of that dark pink in the um, Festive collection, but because I have the pink and red together, it just really flows really easily between the two collections. So now I'm going to put all of these photos down. I decide at first I was going to put the photo of us in the top corner because that's the corner that you're going to see when it's closed. Um, but I decided that that was too many repetitive photos of us and that the drink photo is cuter anyway. So the drink photo is going to go in the top corner. And then I'm going to rearrange so that we are in the other corners. Man, those nachos were red beans and rice nachos, which sounds so weird, but they were so good. <laughs> My husband uh, posted about it on his social medias about that and the shrimp that we got from this place and how he had such a good day because the food was so good which was cute and actually a big deal for my husband because he's not really into food the way that I am so I was happy that he enjoyed the food so much so that's why I made sure even though the nacho page isn't or the nacho photo isn't really beautiful or anything I made sure to include it because that was a big deal so I knew that I wanted to change this page so that it didn't have holes in it um, and I could use those page extenders that I created. They are linked on day one of my um, December Daily blog posts. Um, and I also decided that I didn't like the white background. Initially, I was just going to mat the white background on the blue, but uh, I decided to just take it all the way apart and put everything on the blue background. And I really love how much prettier that looks and how... Um, it incorporates the two pages really well I think and it just it, the white was a little bit stark for me and so I really liked the blue instead it's still a light background and it's not very busy I'm sorry for my hair it's not very busy but um, look at how much prettier it interacts with that front page so I'm going to trim down this 3x8 signature from the festive collection for the tag in that pocket that's where I'm going to add my main journaling. And then I'm also going to add that shopping list tag from the uh, currently tags from the festive collection over the top because that's what we were doing was Christmas shopping. And so I'm going to tie them together with some baker's twine. And then I'm going to eventually, uh, well, I don't know. My kids won't see this probably. So I'm going to put the places that we shopped and maybe some of the things that we got that were really cool because we did find some really cool finds while we were out. We have such a hard time shopping in general, but shopping for our kids at Christmas is just like rough. So I was happy that we found some stuff. It's, it's fun when your kids are older, like when your kids are young, it's easy to shop for them, right? Because you can just get a bunch of crap toys and they'll be happy. But when they're older, it gets harder and harder until you start really honing in on the personality that they have that or that they're going to have as you know big kids or big adults and my kids definitely all have a lot of personality one is still super hard to shop for um, but the other two are super easy to shop for and so it was so nice that their personalities are coinciding with what's popular which I guess probably uh, is a duh of course it's popular if it's part of what they like, but um, it was everywhere. And so we found a lot of really cute things that I think that they're gonna like. And so I wanna kind of document that part of it too um, as a sub story. So I'm probably gonna use that go uh, shopping tag, shopping list tag for that part. So now I'm just going through and I have all of the festive embellishments on the right hand side and all of the all is bright collection or festive blah, 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 all is bright elements on the left hand side and I was just keeping them separate because I want to make sure I incorporate um, an equal amount of embellishments between the two but I actually end up incorporating a lot more all is bright embellishments than festive ones because almost all of the papers were festive so it kind of just made sense to lean heavily onto the all is bright stuff to really make sure that everything feels incorporated. So I just put a couple of captions on these labels from the All Is Bright collection. And I'm incorporating some more embellishments into the page so that everything looks nicely layered. I really wanted to use this candy cane because those martinis were mint, 
but I couldn't make it work very well with the just the way that the label interacted with those lights and then the room that I had left on the photo I didn't want to cover it up too much so I end up just putting it aside and then finding one of those peppermint swirl circles from the festive collection that I could incorporate instead and it worked a little bit better I wanted a red one not a green one I did end up trying to add the red one too but I ended up with the green one or, or the green one too but I ended up with just the red one because again with that Christmas light it just wasn't working for me I do want to add in some presents because we are Christmas shopping and that will fill in some of these blank spaces around the photos too I just like the way that it kind of all got happy and busy and it just you know what it feels like when you go Christmas shopping so I also put that shopping snowflake from the all is bright collection it says go shopping on it but I covered up the go so it says ho holly jolly shopping and I really like that I was gonna add it with letter stickers maybe but then I found that shopping snowflake and I thought it was perfect and then these snowflakes are from the all is bright digital kit they are inked sort of um, inked edge what am I trying to say notebook notebook <laughs> um, snowflakes and I like the little like this it's a brighter or not brighter lighter snowflake color like you still get that color but they're really kind of washed out and I liked that with all of the color that's going on on this page I thought that the washed out snowflakes made a good frame I like that ho 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 from the festive collection because we are playing Santa and I added a little heart at the top. Now I was going to cut off those snowflake edges, but I really liked the way that it framed the other side of the page without me cutting them off. I thought it was cute. So I decided not to because I just, I like it. I normally don't like the back sides of things, but since there's a lot of white on that page, it worked perfectly. Now I couldn't incorporate the number tag because I didn't have a three. I must have used the three last year. <laughs> Though like the one number I used was three, of course. So I just used one from the festive collection and added in one of the festive trees. Thought about just covering up that label because I didn't know what I wanted to write. But I ended up writing a little caption at the end and it worked out. So then I did decide to add in a couple of embellishments on the back of this page just because I didn't like how dark the photo was with how bright and happy the next page was so I decided to add a little bit of bright and happy to the back of that photo it doesn't really matter because it's just confetti and the tree and it just ends up kind of being a big confetti blob so uh, it was okay to cover up some of it and I think it incorporates or adds to the spread pretty well without detracting from the photo plus I used the festive collection on that side as well or on that page as well so it just all worked together and that is it for this video if you enjoyed it I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe I would love to have you if you don't already you can follow me over on Instagram I'm at Tracy M. Reed I'd love to see you over there as well there is a link to the blog post for this page in the description box below if you are interested in any of the credits or the still images all right thank you Thank you.